In the test kitchen, we go through a lot of Parmesan cheese. And our taste tests show us time and again that real Parmigiano-Reggiano, while more expensive than imitations, is really worth every penny. Because we go through so much, we often buy huge quarter wheels of real Parmesan and break them down ourselves into smaller wedges. While doing so, we've often noticed that the cheese towards the rind is crumblier than that in the center. And some of our test cooks swear that the exterior cheese has better flavor and boasts more of those pleasant, crunchy crystals. But is that possible? Is there really a big difference between the exterior and the interior? And should that inform which part you buy? Well, we designed an experiment to answer all of these questions. We first set up a blind tasting of samples of cheese taken from three locations on one wheel of 18-month-old Parmigiano-Reggiano. We took samples from the very center of the wheel, from a location one inch in from the side and bottom rind, and a third location right between these two points. Now in a blind tasting, we asked tasters to describe the texture and flavor of each sample and rank them based on overall preference. Next, we took additional samples from the center and edge locations, shaved them into thin strips, and manually counted the number of crystals in each. The result? Tasters were really clear about their preferences. The sample taken closest to the rind ranked first. It was nutty, complex, and pleasantly crumbly. The sample taken from the very center of the wheel ranked at the very bottom. Tasters found it mild with a smoother, almost plasticky texture. The sample taken in between these two points scored second place and was described as middle of the road in terms of both flavor and texture. What about those crystals? Well, they form as the cheese ages and dries out, and the insoluble amino acid tyrosine aggregates into clumps. Now, the cheese right next to the rind averaged 20 crystals for every 10 grams of cheese, while the center cheese averaged less than nine crystals per 10 grams. What accounts for these differences? Well, when a cheese ages, it undergoes a complex process called proteolysis, which changes its texture, melting qualities, and flavor. Our tests suggest that cheese changes over time in much the same way that a roast heats up in the oven, from the outside in. Dean Summers, a cheese technologist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, agrees. According to Summers, the outer portions of a wheel of real Parmesan cheese will show the telltale signs of advanced aging, a dry, crumbly texture, a high proportion of those tyrosine crystals, and a deep, complex flavor. Moving forward, we'll definitely be seeking out the corner pieces of real Parmesan at the supermarket. Not only do we get the authenticity guarantee of that stamp on the rind, we'll also be buying the best part of the wheel. This is the science of good cooking.